Welcome to the Not So Ordinary Podcast. From charcuterie to charity and everything in between, we embrace a potpourri of entrepreneurial spirit. Here's your host, Angie Sigler. Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Not So Ordinary Podcast. I'm your co-host, Jeremy Wolf, and joined by today, we have actually have two hosts for you. We're here with Angie, as well as Alcy, the artist behind the Not So Ordinary Cheese Board. Ladies, how are you doing today? Great. How are you, Jeremy? I am living la vida loca, as they like to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm doing great. Coming off the heels of a wonderful holiday, ready for a wonderful and exciting 2024. Yes. And I know it's cool with your business that you have. Oh, there's a little doggy on the screen. Actually, it's a little cat. Oh, a cat. A hairless, it's a hairless cat. That's my baby. <laughs> Very cool. We have, so, four, we have four of them running around the house. So at any time, you may see them just jumping around. Ah, okay. Well. Inspiration. <laughs> Caught me off guard there. I just popped out in the middle, of the, right, right in front of you there. So it's pretty cool with your business, the charcuterie business, because every time there's a holiday that comes, the, there's a theme incorporated to what you do. So obviously we're uh, we're approaching rapidly approaching lovely Valentine's Day. So I know Correct. you ladies wanted to share a little bit about what you guys do during that time and you know, give some tips, insights, thoughts, ideas. So. Go for it. What do you what do you what do you got to share with us? Yeah, so you know, exactly. We just got out of Christmas, which was a, a wonderful time of the year to to be creative. We we had um, constant orders coming in, people asking us to do all types of things for Christmas. Everybody was having Christmas parties, family gatherings. Uh, the orders didn't stop. Luckily, you know, great for us. Uh, we needed a little break, so we did take that for New Year's. Uh, we got away just to relax and put our feet up because uh, we were working around the clock. Um, but yes, for Valentine's Day, we have an array of stuff that you can order. Uh, people are putting orders in already. Uh, we have everything from heart boxes for two people. Uh, we have boxes that say, I love you. We have boxes that say love. We have heart boxes. We have uh beautiful little picnic baskets if you want to be real romantic. It's, this is great for you guys out there that are listening that want to have brownie points with your wives or girlfriends. Um, we have a picnic ba basket that comes with everything that you need. All you got to do is add the bottle. It comes with the food, comes with the flowers, it comes with the blanket, and the actual picnic basket actually turns into your little table. Oh, you're so, making it. You're making it easy for us. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I appreciate that. that. As, a, <laughs> as, as a man looking for something to do for his wife for Valentine's Day, I like when it's made easy. I don't want to. Yeah. I wanna... This is as easy as it gets. <laughs> um. So you just have to pick it up, go buy the alcohol, and just go find a little spot. Yeah. So it's really, really simple. Uh. So we have something for everybody's price point. Um. Just get your orders in early because, like I said, people are already, you know, placing orders already. Um, but the inspiration, um, the artist is actually here with us today. I, and, you know, for those of you that have been following my podcast, have been listening to me talk now for several, several months. And now we have Alcy here with us. So um, I wanted to introduce to you, everybody, the artist, the person that actually puts her heart and soul into each and every box, every board, every table that you all have been ordering from. So, Alcy, what is your inspiration for this Valentine's Day? What are you putting special into these boxes and boards that people are going to be ordering from us now? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? <laughs> um, <clears throat> what I put in special, I guess, would be love. The number one ingredient for number yes. in life. Would be love. I do every board that goes through my hands. It's something special, and I want to make sure that they love it, they enjoy it most of all. So I I take it very personal. She does. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I take it very personal. So I make sure that there's there's attention to detail on everything that I put in that board. So there's a reason behind the madness, like I would say. My daughter sometimes will ask me, but why are you doing that? I said, 
there's a reason for that. That goes there. And she'll tell me, well, I wouldn't do it that way. I said, well, you need to do it that way. And then at the end, she, she sees the end product and she'll say, now I understand why you did it that way. But she says she would have never thought of something like that. So it's just love. I just put in there love. I just see it. I see it before it's done. Once I get an order and I, I'll see the order in my head and it's like, okay, this is what I want for that person just by talking with them for two seconds. And I can tell exactly what they're looking for. You know, it's funny, Jer Jeremy, if you were, if you could be in my office for, for a day, you would see how our office operates. It's, it's, it's not a small mom and pop company. You know, we we're, we're a little bit bigger than that, but we operate like if we were a typical neighborhood mom and pop company you know you get that one-on-one -on -one attention when you call and place an order even when you place an order online you don't feel like you're just calling this big you're not a number with us mm -hmm. you know it's i see her work and and you know you are literally getting an artist it's you know it's it's funny i, I look at Elsie like you know you think of a, of a painter you know you think of, of of a painter that you like you know a peter max who's unfortunately not with us anymore a a a uh, Picasso, you know, if you if you could have had Picasso come and paint something in your house and you saw him actually painting something on your wall for for your guests to enjoy, and that's what you get with Elsie in a board. You you're getting someone do something for you that your company is going to enjoy because she literally will sit there and and she just transforms when she's actually doing these boards. It's it's crazy to watch her work, and and a board won't leave until she thinks it's perfect. Sometimes a little. Too much, I, I get a little frustrated with her. So <laughs> has to be perfect, right? It has to be perfect, or she won't let it go out the door. But you know, so the customers, you know, we have yet to have a customer say, you know, a negative review with us, and that's I think that speaks greatly of of her company. Um, everyone, you know, has that wow factor, which is you know what we strive for, um, you know, what we continue to strive for. But she she'll just sit there and until a board is looks perfect and. You know, there's meats and cheeses that can't go next to each other because they don't look aesthetically pleasing to her, you know, or uh, a fruit that can't go next to a cracker because it makes it soggy. And those kind of details that you and I or any other culinary peasant wouldn't even <laughs> think of, you know. Culinary peasant. <laughs> you know, just put it next to each other. You know, she won't do things like that, you know. So I think, you know, there's a lot of companies out there Um that do the same thing we do, but the amount of detail that she takes into her boards is, is incredible. Um, I know now for Valentine's Day, you're also adding specific Valentine decor yes, to am. the boards. Cookies and candy, I'm adding. And yeah, I wanted, to, I wanted to ask about that, but I wanted to go back for a second. Uh, obviously the attention to detail is important, mm -hmm. but it, it certainly comes from that place of love that you talked about, which is, important in, in every aspect of everything that you do, uh, but also with like cooking, you notice it, right? So when you put love and intention in what you're doing and cooking, preparing things, it really shines through because you're, we're, we're transferring our energy and we're doing things again with intention and, and good graces and good spirit. So that mm -hmm. clearly comes across in what you do. And, and it's, it's just really refreshing to hear. But I wanted to talk about some of your favorite ingredients that you like to include in Valentine's Day charcuterie boards? Oh, for Valentine's Day. Uh, the funny thing is that the I The chocolates, no? No, chocolates, yeah. The chocolates. Chocolates I love to include, but I don't eat meat. <laughs> That's the funny thing. So it has to pass the test of Angie. If she likes the meats that I order, the... Uh, the, the charcuterie? The meats charcuterie have to pass moves, my inspection. The, Yes, if she likes them, the test, because I get I get a lot of vendors that send me or come in and give me some samples, and some samples don't meet the cut. And I mean, they're good. They're good cured meats. It's just that it doesn't pass the cut for her taste. I don't eat them. I love cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so but for Valentine's Day, it would be the chocolates. The it would be the, the crackers. Uh, there's, some cra there's some cookies. crackers, yes, yeah, some cookies and some crackers that I like to include. Uh, Are you still cutting the cheese in heart shapes and yes, stuff like that? I am. <laughs> so the little surprises that go in boxes, you know, some cheeses that are cut in heart shapes. Yes. Um, so no, what I also like is that there's no um, 
almost like almost like snow, right? No, no snowflakes. There's no two boxes the same. No, there isn't. No, you even don't get a I cookie. Try, you don't get a cookie cutter box here. You know, no, even if I try and I have two that are going to the same place and I put them next to each other, there's always something different about one. I, it's just that it it just looks a little bit different because maybe when I did the flower. It was a little bit, it came out a little bit smaller and it didn't open up as much as I wanted. So something else has to be there that incorporates it. So it will not look the same. <laughs> I tried, but it won't look the same. You know about the Secret Santas in uh, Disney World? You ever heard of that? The Secret Santas. Well, I, mean, the I, secret, know, the, I know the Secret, secret Santa Mickey's, gift exchanges. The, the Secret heard. Mickey's in Disney World. I've heard <laughs> something about secret mickeys but i don't know exactly Where, what it is. when so you go sure. around there's there's in the park <laughs> you go walk around there's uh the mickey shape the the head with the two ears okay hidden around the park there's actually even a book about it where it tells you on what ride on what show to look for it um and they're all over the park all over well you don't be surprised if you get a board and you'll find an actual mickey surprise in there yeah. or either she'll put her cheese that look like it or the little tomatoes or something <laughs> she'll you know she'll, she'll do little things like that on her boards it's and so people funny. most people don't see it no you know but i'll take a picture of the board and i'll look at it and i'll be like hey there's a mickey and she'll be like oh you saw it you know <laughs> so yeah she, she'll do little things like that on her boards <laughs> and stuff like that that's so, so cool though because while most people won't pick up on that there will be a few people that see that and really appreciate exactly. it exactly Exactly. Yeah, so sure. I've yet to have anybody it. come back and mention yeah, it. Yeah, no, it's but so eventually somebody well, you just, will. You just left a secret. You left the cat out of the bag now. You told them. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Be looking for it. Now people <laughs> start looking for it. <laughs> yeah. uh, to, going back, looking back, ladies, do you have anything uh, like a favorite Valentine's Day creation that stands out in your memory? Anything you've done in the past that kind of stands above all else that you want to share? The, 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 the last year's spinning basket. Oh yes, the picnic basket. So that last year's picnic basket. Uh, there was there was a picnic basket we did last year that um, just the way that she created it with the with the, it's on it's actually on our webpage with the um, the, flow of the, the, the the throw the way it was flowing and the the person that actually uh, did it put a bottle in there and took a picture before they opened it up and it just looked really pretty and uh, I want to see. Yeah, it's on there. It's, it's on uh, there. It's, it's on there. And looking, it's, hold on. If you actually go to the the, the order page and you go to a picnic basket, it's actually the one that we actually chose as our picnic basket order uh, page, uh, picture to, to for people to order because it's just it's oh. just super super pretty. Um, Where is it on the website? I'm trying to look at it and pull it up here on the screen if I can. So but, if you if you go to if you go to my order page. And you just uh, choose, you know, order now, and you just search for picnic baskets. Shop now. Yeah. yeah. And you go to picnic basket; it'll pop up. Ooh, I'm looking at all your Valentine's Day creations. <laughs> <laughs> There's also the one that's. That's beautiful. That old. You got there's a little search part, the little search yeah. thing on the top. Oh. And you put in picnic. Picnic basket charcuterie. Uh-huh. Oh, very nice. So that's a picture. It's it was already open, but that, that table that you're seeing on, it's actually the basket itself, it comes closed. So all that comes uh, inside. And all that Except comes inside. Except the, the except wine. the wine that that the customer had put themselves. I like it. Yeah, very so. cool. I was going to try to get it up on the screen here, but I don't want to mess anything up. So, but I, at least at least I got a chance to see it. Everybody else can go to your website and check it out. Right. So I think that's one of my one of my favorite creations. Um, the whole concept of how that comes together and and the customer can just pick it up and it comes out really pretty. Yeah, it is really beautiful. Thank you. You're giving me so many ideas now for my wife and Valentine's. You know, I <laughs> got to be reminded sometimes the older I get, you know, you're with somebody for a long time. Sometimes you lose that romantic touch and you stop getting right. gifts for each other. And that really, you know, really put it hinders the relationship from, from 
growing and getting better over the years. So you just, I'm glad we had this conversation. You've implanted a seed in my mind that I need to do something very special this Valentine's Day for my wife. Yeah, and, and you know, it's something different um, as opposed to getting her just plain flowers and, you know, like a lot of people just do, oh, here's, here's some flowers. You know what better thing is you know food and and like i told elsie and and this is something that we we we're very cautious of you know people are going through rough economical times yes. um everywhere you hear about it every, everywhere you talk you hear about it um so we're keeping that in mind with all of our boards every season uh every holiday so we have something in every price range you know if 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 a 200 uh 200 dollar board is too much for you we have a 40 dollars board we have a 12 dollars snack box you can come in and buy you know it, it we have something for everybody you know including so, our pets including yeah. the pets don't forget about don't our forget pets. About the pet boxes you know yeah, our, so, pets, our pets okay. need to be spoiled as well you know <laughs> so, yeah. absolutely so you yeah, know and i really yeah. I, I gotta say i'm i'm just as we're talking about this i am literally thinking about how much my wife would appreciate and enjoy an experience like that for Valentine's day with the whole picnic basket and the charcuterie board with the bottle of wine. And I take her out to the park somewhere and open it up. I could just see right. the look on her face and be like, wow, I can't believe you did this. So really I'm getting, I'm getting some brownie points this, this, this time around. <laughs> Thank you both for the recommendation. Oh, on that. I love you're that. you're you welcome. You have to go to the park. You can just take it, open up in your living room. No, 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 no. I got, I got to get away from the kids. I got to get away from the kids. We got to get away from the kids. If we're going to keep this romantic, we got to, we got to distance ourselves from, those, get away from the kids those little creatures. <laughs> yeah, oh, so, goodness. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, there's so many, there's so many options that people can do that, you know, and who doesn't like food, especially this kind of food where you can just kind of pick, it's not a sit down meal, you know, it's Correct. just, you know, something to pick. And for those people that have never ordered from us that don't know all of our boards, all of our, our boxes come with, everything that you need to be able to eat. You know, we have the little thongs in there. We have the little, uh, um, dippers, dippers, to, for, you know, your honey. for your, for your honey and stuff already. So it's basically just open up and you have everything Even you need. Napkin. <laughs> yeah. So pretty much you have everything that you need to, to eat. You don't even need to go stop and buy silverware mm -hmm. on your way. So everything is included. So it's really simple. You know, we, we try funny. to make it as easy as possible for everyone. We appreciate that. Thank that you. I do love what I do, and I make it with lots of love. My daughter always asks me, she says, why did you pick this out of anything that you could have done? This brings joy. I, I feel that this brings more joy than anything. I could have done anything. I could have picked any business, and I picked like she says to roll salami. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she says. That's what she says. Her daughter's like, I'm gonna be rolling salami for the rest of my life. Be flowers for the rest of my life. <laughs> she always says that to me. I'm like, yep. Yeah. I just I just well, you love, love it. Love what I do. She does. It, she comes, really it does. comes across when you talk about it. So and that's that's it's so important. There's so many people out there that do things that they not not only not love, they dislike. Yeah. You know? Right. And they spend their spend their life going through the motions. It's just really refreshing and heartwarming. No pun intended for Valentine's Day, but uh, to, you know, to come across folks that are passionate about what they do and have found their inspiration in life. And again, it does come across when you talk about it. So, yeah, good stuff. I really, I really love what I do. I do. All right. So for any listeners that don't know. Why don't you, before we wrap up, why don't you just share uh, how we could learn, how they could learn more? I mean, maybe the, the website where they can see your beautiful work and let us know how we could find you guys. And so our webpage is not so ordinary.com. You can easily go to our order page, which is by cheeseboard.com. That takes you straight to our, to our order page, or you can call us at 954-371-5325. There's always someone available to answer your phone calls. Mm -hmm. All right. Sounds good. Ladies, always a pleasure. Thank you. Can't Thank wait you. till next time. And, and lovely thing, lovely holidays are upcoming that we're going to discuss. So mm -hmm. thanks as always to our listeners for tuning in and we will catch everyone next time on the Not So Ordinary podcast. Everyone have a great day and take care. And that's a wrap on another episode of the Not So Ordinary Podcast. We hope you've enjoyed this journey through the extraordinary. 
Until next time, keep savoring the charcuterie of life, embracing the spirit of charity, and celebrating the not-so-ordinary in all that you do. Thank you for being part of our community. Stay tuned for more.